We've been looking at the story of the Bible. This is God's story. A key part of God's story is Easter. A lot of people think Easter is about plastic eggs, candy, and the Easter bunny. But really, Easter is about how much Jesus loves us and how God sent him to rescue us from sin. God's people, the Israelites, were waiting for a Messiah King who would come and rescue them. Jesus was the Messiah King, and this rescue from sin was the whole reason he came. God had rescued the Israelites from Egypt earlier, but this rescue from sin was going to be a rescue for all the people. So one night, Jesus told his friends about the rescue. His friends were very sad because Jesus was going to have to rescue the world by dying on a cross. I'm sorry, what? Did you know that sin deserves to be punished? Every mean or bad thing we do deserves punishment. By dying on a cross, Jesus took your and my punishment. Talking about the rescue made Jesus sad since he didn't really want to die, but he wanted to obey his father's plans, so he knew he had to do it. He also did it because he loves us. Oh. It all started when an angry crowd arrested Jesus and took him away. They were looking for a reason to kill Jesus, but Jesus had done nothing wrong. He was taken to one of the most powerful men in the city, a man named Pontius Pilate. Pilate wanted to let Jesus go, but a lot of people wanted Jesus to die. They didn't believe he was the Messiah King. They didn't believe he was the Son of God who came to rescue the world from sin. Pilate's soldiers even made fun of him. Can you believe that? No. They put a crown of thorns on his head Ow. and pretended to bow down to him. They mocked him, saying, here is the King of the Jews. The people were even yelling, kill him, to Pontius Pilate. Kill him, kill him, kill him. The soldiers beat Jesus. And they led him away to be killed. And Jesus was nailed to a cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is the king of the Jews. Two criminals were nailed to the crosses next to Jesus. It's important to know that not everybody wanted Jesus to die. His mother and close friends were there. Can you imagine how they must have felt seeing Jesus up on the cross? They loved Jesus and they didn't want him to die. But this had to happen for Jesus to rescue us. Even while he was on the cross, people kept making fun of Jesus. No way. One of the criminals next to him yelled out, Aren't you the Christ? Save yourself and us. Others said, If you really are the king of the world, save yourself and save us. Jesus could have saved himself, but he loved us so much that he wanted to rescue us. So instead, he prayed to God the Father, saying, I place my life into your hands. Then darkness covered the land like a thick fog, and Jesus died. <gasps> Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom, and there was an earthquake. One of the soldiers guarding Jesus' body said, this man really was God's son. Wow. Jesus was buried in a tomb. A large stone was rolled right in front of the tomb, and Pilate's soldiers guarded the tomb because they were afraid that Jesus' disciples would steal his body. Jesus was in that tomb for three days, and many people thought this was the end of the story. But it wasn't. It was just the beginning. Really? 